do you? <laughs> no, I meant a lot. I just, you know, I kind of try to show up every week and, and do my job for the team. I'd love to not punt at all because that means we're doing well. But to, to have that kind of game and, and also get a win is great. The 60 yarder that rolls out at the one, how much of that, I guess, is a, I got to be a little bit of luck involved in that, right? It's a, it's a good point. Um, <laughs> people think that, you know, we control the bounce and all that stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, it leaves our foot. We're kind of out of control because the wind can affect it and all that kind of stuff. So um, usually when you hit a spiral punt and it turns over, um, it bounces to the right. So just thankful that it did that time. Uh, so every Wednesday at practice, we work the entire field. So I'm working on all kinds of punts. I mean, you guys saw me during um, training camp doing that. And we do the same thing every single week. So I practice at it. I do it in warm-ups every single uh, game. So I'm um, just kind of second nature now. Were, were the two that went out of bounds in both cases, were, is that what you were going for, that they would land out of bounds? Yeah. And, and did they get even closer to the goal line than yes. you were attempting? Yeah, so my goal was really to, to pin it cl as close to the sideline as possible every single punt. Um, Easier said than done because, you know, it's a moving object with another mov moving object. But, um, yeah, I'm aiming, I'm aiming at those corners, especially when we're near the 40-yard line. Um, really trying to put hang time underneath it. I think it was my last punt um, where Ty was down there. That's kind of the intent there. Gunner's down there um, collecting the ball. So, so yeah, that is the intent. So when did the first one actually go farther than you were out? Like, when you saw how far it went, were you like, did you think you Yeah, I think it hit there? about the five-yard line. Um, ideally, that punt lands about the eight-yard line, so they fair catch it, and you kind of don't kind of take the bounce out of it. But you know, all works out. Do you remember a game where you had this much effect on a game? I had a couple games in college where I uh, played in the Big Ten, so you know, punting conference, which is great. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's nice coming up to the Northeast and stuff like that uh, to play, um, especially in September and October when it's not cold. Uh, but I had a couple games at Iowa where. I pinned like five or six punts inside the 10-yard line. Um, but this one probably takes the cake um, with just how you know, I, could, I felt that I could change the game and affect it and then you know, result in points after that. So, When you kind of get into a zone, do you, do you become a little more aggressive maybe with where you're aiming at, like maybe going closer to the five? The yeah, I think you know, confidence is everything, right? And I think you know, the first couple games of the season, I, was, I had a lot of good but a lot of bad also, and kind of you know, ups and downs. And to have a day like today kind of – you know, solidifies my confidence and stuff like that. You know, the first punt I had out of the back of the end zone, tough situation, but not the punt that, you know, I can hit. So coming out, coming out after that, I really felt like, you know, I had to kind of put stuff together. Does it help solidify your uh, confidence even more when guys like Alvin Kamara are, like, coming up to you after your <laughs> Yeah, AK tells he won't even give me a high five on the sideline. Because um, he said that's, that's the expectation. I should get it, that every single time. So, no, I appreciate that. Um, it's, I got a job just like he has a job. And he gets paid a little bit more to do his, but you know, end of the day, we're both here to help the team win, and that's you know what I felt I did today. It's actually a lot more. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want the I don't want the multiplier for that Blake, one. Was was the one out of the end zone in some ways the most difficult one of the uh, of yeah what we're talking about? That's that's a that's a really tough situation um, inside the one yard line. It's obviously um, great to get the interception, but you know, kind of praying for a touchback. That's you know, offense is backed up. Um, didn't give up a safety, which is great, but um, need a little bit better for myself on that. But, you know, all's well that ends well. How do you think changes in all when you're backed up in the end zone trying to punt? Yeah, so obviously get off time is sped up a lot. Uh, my steps are different. Uh, the blocking's different. You know, they're not really retreating like they do on a normal punt, so they're kind of, you know, quick setting. It's because that block spot's like five yards behind a lot of scrimmage. So, um, Hopefully we don't have too many more of those, but you know I'll have a better punt next time if we do. Do you have uh, like more messages on your phone uh, today than you typically do? <laughs> yeah, I got posted by the NFL Twitter account, so that's kind of been blowing me up. That usually doesn't happen, but um, yeah, I just I'm probably gonna turn it off soon. Uh, my family's outside. I'm gonna get spend time with them and you know kind of stay grounded in that. So no doubt, punters of people too. Appreciate you guys. Let me talk to you. That's the new logo. Indiana Penn State is the football. Is that the catchphrase for the Big Ten? It's the Big Ten.